Okay, y'all, I promised that I would be showing y'all everything that I got at the thrift store today. And here I am, my clothes are washing, and I'm going to show you what I got. First thing I got was this giant, oh, it's heavy too. I don't really know what it's for. I think you put a plant on it. It's really big. <laughs> it's barbells. It's $4.99. Got a tabletop thingy. Sorry, that's kind of messed up. And I think you put a um, plan on it. $4.99. I don't know what the retail on that is. I don't even know if it's homemade. And since I'm redoing our kitchen, I got me a plate holder. It holds three plates. And it was $2.99. And I can't wait to get it up. I probably won't paint this or anything. This will probably just stay the way it is. Cut my fine china. The thing that holds the fine china. And it's not my hutch either. It is the coolest thing. Look at this, y'all. Fine china right in here. Now I will paint and redo this. This, uh, I don't know that I wrote down what this costed. Uh, it was so, I think it was, the fine china was $3.99. Four bucks for this. And let me just go on and show you this while I've got it out for $1.59. I got all of these pages, all kinds of stickers for fall. And I thought it would be cute to maybe put something on the front of my fine china where the fruit is, like a sticker, because I'm going to repaint it to make it match. I don't have black in my kitchen. I don't like black in my kitchen, but I know a lot of people do, but I don't care for it. And I'm going to maybe put a sticker. I'll probably put this sticker. I might cut this out and put it around my coffee bar or something. I'm really happy with all of the pretty little designs. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. I love pumpkin spice. I don't even care if it's fall. I would I would drink me some pumpkin spice up. There is all kinds of cute little things. Gather with a grateful heart. That could be for uh, Thanksgiving. It's a lot of cool stuff, y'all. For $1.59, I got that. And then I got these candle holders. They were $1.99. Not each, but $1.99. For both. I've been wanting some candle holders. I don't have any candles to go inside yet. I'm going to make my own candles by melting down some old candles that needs to be gotten rid of. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll put them in a thank you get them out and y'all I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I think and I'm gonna put this in like under my sink or somewhere where I can put my oh um, the tops to my lid you know the lids to my um uh, things on this stack them somehow or another or if that don't work I can always use it in my craft room and this was a dollar ninety nine for the file tray now I fell in love with an apron I don't cook but I fell in love with this apron this apron was two dollars and ninety nine cents and it has never been worn brand new you can tell it's never even it's never been worn it's never nothing I, I would say this came right out of the package and I love the print I loved every little detail about this I have no idea what it say is because I don't speak that language I don't even know what language it is it's probably Italian maybe or French I don't know but I love the colors of this and I think it would just be pretty hanging up in the kitchen on something. I've got a green one, too, that was my grandma's, and I can hang them together. 
don't think I'm crazy yet. For 50 cents, I got this little placemat with the little farmhouse truck. It was regularly just a dollar at the Dollar General. They had a lot of Dollar General stuff. Um, but I think it's cute. I found this at the thrift store. Isn't that pretty? It's galvanized. It's got cotton around it. It says Simply Blessed, and I paid $5.99 for it. But it retails at the Hobby Lobby for $29. I think I did great on this. Because with my clothes and everything else that I got was $50. So this was like $20 something dollars at the Hobby Lobby. And I gave $6 for it. And this little pumpkin patch thing. See, like this fall. What I plan on doing is, well, this will have to be trimmed down a little, you know, to fit in there. But, like, I'll change it out in the fall. And then I won't have so many trays around. Like, I've got to switch this tray out for that season, this tray for that season. I'll leave it the galvanized. And then, in this fall, I'll change it out. Or I could use some of my stickers. Y'all, look here at this one that I got. I paid $7.99 for this, and it retails for $44.99. Plus, it they do sell these at Walmart, but even at Walmart, they're like, well, they didn't even have this kind exactly at Walmart, but they had the lettering for $30 at Walmart. Look. Gather. I don't know where I'm going to hang it. I just know it's going to go in my kitchen. I know I gave $7.99 for it. And it retails for $44.99. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Love it. I don't know if people's like getting out of the farmhouse stuff. Nah, that Joanna Gaines stuff. I don't, you know, I don't care about that stuff. I just like what I like. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, I paid $4.99. For it. It comes with five jars. I'm pretty sure these jars, let me show you the jars. Here's the jar. The jars have a wire probably to hold flowers, maybe, you know, to put flowers in and keep them from falling over or something. They open, I'll wash them out. I paid $4.99 for this tray. I, I call it a tray. Uh, couldn't find it anything like this to find out how much it retailed for. But the closest thing I did find like this was like $50. It may have been like a little more than $50. But y'all, this is going in my table. The centerpiece of my table. Look at that. Darling, I thought I would do that in the centerpiece of my table or at my coffee station and have like my creamers, my sugars, my stirring sticks, some coffee beans, some uh, tea bags in this one, you know, just whatever. I just think this is just the most cutest thing. Y'all, I love this. I loved it for $5. So, y'all get out there and start looking around since the stores has opened back up and support these local businesses that's really struggling to make it. We've got to keep them in business. They got to feed their families too. God bless everybody and I hope every one of y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, night, morning, whatever time you're watching this. Be safe.